Hey everybody, Shane from BD Diesel again, and we're gonna talk about Hemi Ram Manifold. Now, uh, you guys, or many of you probably know about our 2009 to, to current classic series manifold for your classic Ram DS body style truck with the Hemi in it. Uh, and you know all about the manifold tick, and you know all about our, uh, the benefits of our heavy duty manifolds and bolt spacers. Now, many of you also talk about how, hey, I have a DT truck or a new body style truck, like the one right here, and, uh, and why don't your manifolds fit? Well, these trucks actually uh, changed some of the details about how the manifolds fit on the vehicle and the exhaust runs. Uh, research has told us that these trucks have prolific manifold problems, just like the prior generation truck, even though they're new and exciting. I can show you a few things about that. We've got, come around here this other side. I've got the passenger side stripped down already. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, didn't actually take that long. Driver's side's a little bit more pain in the butt, but got it all out. You can see manifolds out, and uh, here's the nice ports and everything, wonderful. Uh, it's actually not so bad. I was sort of worried a little bit about how uh, snuggled the firewall got on these trucks compared to the prior ones, but not so bad, not bad. Uh, so, on the bench here I have the manifold. Here it is in its rusty glory. Uh, and you can see it already has, I know the bench isn't like totally flat, but you know, Bench is pretty flat, and uh, you get the point. This thing's pretty horrifically wibbly wobbly. If you look at the edge of the bench here, whoa, warped. Pretty classic. So one of the things sort of worth noting is Chrysler uh, in their Mopar Glory have a fix, uh, and there's a TSB out on, you come back with your manifold ticking on your DT series truck, and they tell the department to put on, tell the service department to put on all new parts and the fixed plates. Uh, and it seems to be, so the plates go on like this on the truck. And then all your bolts go through like so. So then what happens is uh, it does sort of seem to get you like a little bit thicker, uh, like a little bit longer stud length, uh, which is, is good. Uh, but this truck, evidently, none of this helped. So what we have here, is to get rid of all this warped junk. And we have our 3D printed Hemi manifold. So part of our design process is we use some CAD, we look at the, we create some CAD, we look at how the OEM manifold flows, uh, we look at some of the thicknesses everywhere, the casting, and uh, some of the characteristics that and the, of the strength and things that we're concerned about. And then we create a preliminary design uh, which we will take to our flow bench and flow and make sure everything uh, works as we should, do some comparisons in real life to validate uh, our computer uh, data that we've created. Once we're happy with that, then we'll get a real truck in the bay here in the research and development department and we will do some test fitting to ensure that everything fits as it should before we make real ones. So as you can see here, the new manifold will have uh, bolts and spacers to uh, help the stud breaking problem just like the DS uh, series bodies, uh, same, same. And they'll do just like you guys all know, just like the uh, other manifolds we make for these Dodge half tons, the heat shield mounts will be moved away from the uh, exterior bolts and be moved onto their own mounts, just like so. Just like that kind of deal. So, uh, if this all goes well, then we will move forward to uh, getting tooling and uh, castings made. So. Uh, Without further ado, uh, let's uh, try and poke it on the truck. <laughs> you leave the fun stuff to go. So after a little bit of dinking around and... <laughs> What's wrong with dinking? Okay, after a little bit of horsing around, on this DT RAM and uh, some of the angling. Uh, there it is, there's our 3D printed manifold. Uh, and we do this to ensure that we have nice fitment and that uh, our uh, users and customers aren't going to experience installation trouble. We try our best to make the part you know, convenient to install. I mean, sometimes these late model trucks are a little bit tricky and there's no way around it, but we try our best to be cognizant and aware that design choices we make aren't gonna affect fitment challenges. So I have the heat shield off right now just so we can see everything and we can make sure that there's clearance around everything and none of the uh, thickness we've added anywhere is gonna be an issue, which doesn't look like it's gonna be an issue here. Uh, and you can see we have all our bolts and spacers on 
and everything's all snugged up so that it's accurate. We got the exhaust gasket in. The biggest difference between these DT series body trucks, the new body style and the DS body trucks, is the outlet angle here. As uh, some folks have attempted to put the old style manifold on these newer trucks and it bolts in, you're like, sweet, great, but then the exhaust doesn't line up at all. So that's the biggest difference between uh, these manifolds and the uh, prior body style. So we got it all lined up nice. Uh, the other side is uh, just being tied up right now, so we uh, haven't pulled the exhaust up yet. But we'll get the heat shield on here and make sure it all fits nice and get the exhaust all pulled on. Uh, and then we should be good to go. Once we validate everything and fitment here is good, then it's just uh, off to the foundries to uh, make some sweet products. So keep an eye out. These should be coming around the bend any day now for you.